This is a demo of CyanogenMod 12.1 on the ASUS Zenfone 2. So the, the model number for the Zenfone 2 that I have is the $200 model. I'll have an Amazon link in the description. This model has a 2GB of RAM and a 1080p display. It's considered ZE551ML. Uh, currently, that's the only version that fish or, or works with CyanogenMod. I know that a lot of people did get it to work on the ZE550ML model. So here is the version you can see Android 5.1.1. This is very cool since ASUS is still running on the base model of Lollipop which is Android 5.0 not even 5.0.2 just 5.0. So I'm excited to see the improvements. Uh, hopefully there isn't any memory leakage problem. I think uh, those problems are resolved in 5.1. I'm excited to, to see how battery life is improved in this model. And this is, uh, this is only the nightly build so I can't really tell. Uh, so as you can see, my the available space that I have on the internal storage is 10.71 gigabyte. Uh, because I pretty much backed up everything on the micro SD card. I have an 8 gigabyte micro SD card and that's what I would recommend especially if you have the 16 gigabyte model have a big or buy a big micro SD card preferably 60 gig 64 gigabyte or higher so you can have a lot of backups. So I created a backup of the uh, the ASUS ROM on the micro SD card and pretty much completely wiped everything clean on the internal storage. So the internal storage is almost like a scratch disk and the micro SD card is the backup so let's let's see how it goes let me search my channel on YouTube as you can see I have a cut uh, I, I did cut out one part of that clip because it did take me a lot of time to write my name on the phone while seeing the display uh, so seeing the phone through the camera's display so as you can see the hardware decoder works right now I can play 1080p videos without any problem uh, it's very cool uh, even at this early stage uh, a lot of things work pretty uh, you can't really make it a daily driver material or you can't use it as a daily driver uh, for some reason right now I can't use my sim card it doesn't recognize the T-Mobile sim card I might have to modify the APN settings uh, before I made this video I've been playing around with it for around two hours so I don't have that much experience as you can see the double tap to wake is on it works pretty well I'll have a full-on tutorial on how to do this from beginning to end including how to unlock the bootloader you do not have to be rooted in order to do this so I'll have a full-on tutorial very shortly so right now this is a nightly build when the stable build does come out I'll have a video on whether the battery life is improved if the memory leakage problem is fixed how is the standby time and if the brightness because I know that CyanogenMod actually allows you to increase the brightness completely uh, I showed you on the on the Zenfone 2 review that you I had to use a different application in order to increase the brightness to its full potential uh, with CyanogenMod you can do that without having anything so I will have every video that you would like for the people who are doing this for the first time such as installing a custom ROM on their Android device you will encounter a lot of problems do not give up search the stuff on Google uh, if you are encountering that problem the chances of another person encountering the same problem is very high so do a lot of research I'll have the XDA uh, link that I followed in order to do this and I will also have a full-on tutorial for the people who wants a fully comprehensive tutorial so that's pretty much all thanks for watching